guys, welcome back to my channel. Today what I'm talking about is concerns you may have about cruising. Okay. So we're getting ready to go on a cruise. It's gonna be amazing. Um, so some things that you may be concerned about when you're cruising is a small stateroom. They are small, um, but it is reasonable. If you have four grown adults in a stateroom though, it is, it is going to be tight. But just expect you're gonna spend most of your time outside of the stateroom and it is definitely not something to like not go cruising for, but you're definitely not going cruising for the accommodations as far as where you're sleeping. Uh, but again, we just typically use it as just a place to go sleep. Okay, we don't really use it for like hanging out or anything. Um, and as far as getting ready at night, um, if you can do shifts, um, would be the best idea. I didn't like girls go back first and then the guys come. Or if the girls, uh, yeah, wanna go get ready first, or like let's say every night you don't dress up. So that would kind of help out with that as well. Second thing is seasickness. Um, it is possible to get seasickness. I would definitely recommend um, taking Dramamine, like taking it with you. Um, and if you start to get it, then yes, please go ahead and take it. I know it says once you've started it, then it doesn't help. I get that, but then over the course of days, it will definitely help. So um, I don't need to take it, but I don't get motion sick. Um, and usually I have people in my group that are also, they get easily motion sick, but they haven't needed to ever take Dramamine for that. But we always do take it. I am gonna take um, the C-band though this time to help my kid who gets motion sickness in the car and see if that works. I'll let you know if C-band ends up helping out because then that works as like a preventative measure as well. Uh, second, third thing is dangerous ports. Um, so as far as crime and someone uh, giving you pickpockets or something like that. Um, and yes, they can be dangerous, but again, if you choose to go with an excursion for the cruise ship, very safe. I never felt in danger at all. Um, I would definitely not recommend just taking off in a cab. Um, I feel like that is where things could actually happen. Um, so I definitely don't recommend that. Just go with an excursion or just go off on a little cruise shopping area. Fourth thing would be getting lost on the ship. Well, now that can actually happen. You definitely get turned around very commonly, but all the ships have maps all the time on it. And I would definitely look look into watching one of the full ship tours before you go and just kind of orienting yourself and looking at like a map, a deck map. But just keep in mind that most things are on deck three and then deck four. And then of course on your Lido deck, like deck 10, which is up on where your buffet and stuff like that is. So that's just kind of your general idea of where you're at. Um, number five, um, a fear of giving communication or unplugged. You can pay for a media package, a data package, or um, just pay for phone. So if you need it as an emergency, you can pay for it. It is expensive and it is definitely not worth it. So our plan is just to, um, you know, talk to someone beforehand, talk to someone after. If we, if they need to get a hold of us, um, that's kind of a difficult scenario. We used to, when it was just going me and my husband, we would just like, um, when we would go onto a port, we would find somewhere with Wi-Fi and then like do an email or something and that works. Um, so that is an option, um, but now we just kind of don't worry about it too much. Um, but that's up to you. But yeah, Wi-Fi on ports is also an option as well. Um, and you could also just pay for the cheap media package for like one day and then just use that as a messenger and that usually works out too. Uh, number six thing people are concerned about is getting bored. Um, well, the good news is they have lots and lots of activities on board. Um, so you wouldn't have to usually worry about getting um, bored with that kind of stuff. Kids, uh, they usually have the kids clubs and sometimes they have video games and stuff like that. So there is actually lots and lots to do. Um, not necessarily a lot to do as a family together, um, but you have like kids activities, adult activities. So those are interesting there. And seventh fear people have is that everything is super, super fancy. Um, you can be as fancy as you want or as casual as you want. They usually do have a formal night and a semi-formal night. You don't necessarily have to dress up big time, but you need to wear like at least like business casual. Um, but most people have that. But the rest of the nights you can still wear a t-shirt and shorts and it's not a big deal. Um, we like to dress up just for the pictures and the memories and stuff like that. Um, but you do not have to, that is totally optional. Um, and that's what I teach their own. 
you know, whatever you want to do in the cruise. That is the good thing about the cruise is that everybody gets the vacation they want. Um, if you want a very active, um, you know, working out every day, if you want to um, play basketball every day, you could totally do that. If you just want to sit on the on the deck and not move for seven days. You could also do that. So it's definitely able to be the kind of vacation that you want to have. Um, so just keep that in mind. So if you have any fears about cruising, please put that to rest. It is so fun. Um, cannot wait to get to go. The only legitimate fear is whenever they have stuff like the coronavirus which is what's going on right now. So we don't even know for sure if our cruise is even still gonna happen because of the coronavirus. That is something to be concerned about, but that's also something to be concerned about at your home. Um, so yes, is it more likely you could get something like that on the cruise ship? Yes, I guess, because you are in close proximities with a bunch of people, but they do provide you lots of Clorox wipes so that you could wash your hands before you go to eat every single time. Um, there's plenty of soap and water available. Um, so if you, as long as you take the precautions, there's a good chance you will be fine. I have been on what seven or eight cruises and I've never gotten sick and no one in my party has ever gotten sick. Um, so it's not that issue. Now if it's an airborne thing, um, then sometimes that can be challenging. Um, but again, if you're going to stay out mainly on the deck and up top, like with the fresh air, again, that won't be as much of an issue. And then you just go straight back to your room. Um, but if we're new inside the like, kind of the lull of the ship, the hull of the ship where there's a lot of like nighttime activities and stuff like that. That's a chance for something like that could happen. Um, but this also again could happen at the Walmart. So um, this is up to you. Um, if I had, which I do have a two year old, so it does concern me a little bit. And I do have my grandmother going with us who's 86. So for those two, I am a little concerned. Um, take consideration and do take precautions um, if you are going cruising um, whenever we have some of these massive virus like outbreaks stuck right now. On a typical day, there's no issues. Like we did go cruising when the swine flu also was happening no one on our cruise ship even got it. So it was not a concern. So um, anyways, <laughs> on that note, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure you check out my other videos about cruising coming up soon. Um, thank you to my horse sponsor, Feebings. Um, and if, you want, if you're also a horse person, make sure you check out Feebings.com with 10% off using the code MCS10. Um, so thank you so much for watching. God bless, be adventurous. See you next time. Happy cruising, bye.